What cars do former U.S. presidents drive? Every four years, the United States holds an election for a new president, and that means candidates hit their respective campaign trails in an effort to win favors with the voters. Being POTUS, of course, means you give up the ability to drive yourself anywhere, as per the Secret Service rules. That means riding along while another professionally trained driver gets you where you need to be and when you need to be. There are a handful of former American presidents alive, and our focus will be on the cars they drive. Can you take a guess? If you can't, Stick around with us! But before we begin, kindly subscribe to our channel for more of our awesome and inspiring content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. Let's get it on! Number 1. Barack Obama Obama has to be one of the most loved personalities in the entire world. Millions of Americans supported his unbelievable rise to the White House, and his tongue didn't let him down either. Oh my, this guy can give a speech. When he retired in 2017, he was succeeded by Donald Trump and calmly restored to his former private life. Before being elected president, Barack Obama owned a Chrysler 300Z with a Hemi V8 engine. Later, he traded that for a Ford Escape hybrid that he drove while campaigning for president. Obama's Chrysler was put up for auction on eBay with a whopping $1 million asking price on June 30, 2012 in Illinois, Chicago. Barack is a reserved guy. Unlike his successor, his car collection is not that massive. Number 2. George Bush about the only time you'll see a president driving themselves is when they are on private property, as in the George W. Bush family ranch in Crawford, Texas. There, Bush was often seen traveling the property in a 2009 Ford F-150 King Ranch Super Crew 4x4 pickup. The two-tone white and tan full-size pickup sold in 2013 for $300,000 at the Barrett-Jackson Scottsdale auction. Proceeds from the charity sale went to the Fisher House Foundation charity. Number 3. Bill Clinton It seems like only yesterday that Clinton was running for president. Fast forward, another Clinton was on the ballot during the 2016 presidential election season. But unfortunately, Hillary Clinton didn't make it to the White House and therefore didn't drive there. In fact, Hillary Clinton has not driven a car since 1996. This is thanks to the Secret Service's security policy. Since Hillary was the wife of a former president and a potential president herself, she has Secret Service protection with her at all times. When she could drive, Hillary owned a yellow Fiat, a Fiat that was stolen, used in a robbery, and crashed during a high-speed pursuit. So I wouldn't really be surprised if Hillary didn't even want to drive after that series of unfortunate events. Bill, however, severely misses the ability to drive. The former president once told Ellen DeGeneres that the thing he misses most about his life before becoming president is his ability to drive himself around. He even told Ellen that he asked Secret Service to let him drive around in the golf cart during various golf outings so that he can have a taste of driving, no matter how small. Clinton had several vehicles he used to drive around in. He mentioned one in a speech many years ago in 1994. While at a Louisiana truck plant, Clinton reminisced about his El Camino. He said that he lined the back of his car truck mutant hybrid with AstroTurf. He went on to mischievously add that you don't want to know why but I did. He later stated that it was added to help with hauling luggage. Of course, it was Bill. However, the car that Bill Clinton missed the most was his ice blue 1967 Mustang convertible. In fact, Clinton once said that it was the thing he most regretted leaving behind when he headed to the White House. The funny thing is, the car was not originally his. In 1972, Bill's stepfather Jeff Dwyer purchased the Ford as a gift for Bill's younger brother, Roger Clinton. If you don't remember Bill Clinton had a younger brother, don't feel bad. I'm pretty sure even Bill forgets he has a younger brother sometimes. At the time, Bill Clinton was busy studying law at Yale University. When he returned home, he bought the Mustang from Roger. As governor of Arkansas, Clinton used to soar down the roads of Little Rock in the Mustang. The roar of its 120-horsepower six-cylinder engine used to terrify pedestrians as Slick Willie rocketed past. However, his new job as President of the United States meant Clinton couldn't drive himself around. Thus, he had to give up his wild Mustang ways. During his presidency, Clinton was reunited with his beloved steed during the Mustang Club of America's celebration of the signature Ford vehicle's 30th anniversary. Currently, the beautiful pony car resides in the Museum of Automobiles in Moralton, Arkansas. 
Number 4. Ronald Reagan According to rumors and reports, former U.S. President Ronald Reagan drove a red Subaru Brat around his personal ranch in California. In a strange bit of history, Reagan apparently used the vehicle at the behest of Subaru, giving regular performance reviews for the Japanese automaker about how well the car operated when used as a real worming truck. The Subaru Brat was recently restored. In 2016, two famous presidential vehicles were displayed at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. One is the Willis CJ6 Jeep that was Nancy Reagan's 1963 Christmas gift to her husband. Reagan kept it for decades as his career progressed from actor to governor of California and finally president. The Jeep is featured in many of the photos taken when President Reagan returned to Rancho del Cielo, his ranch near Santa Barbara. Pictures of Reagan using the Jeep to clear the brush and driving it accompanied by his dogs are among the iconic images of his presidency. He loved driving it, retired Secret Service agent John R. Barletta recalls. He did a lot with this Jeep. I never remember it breaking down. The president relished the chance to drive himself around the ranch. The Jeep was originally utility green, but the California National Guard painted it red with white pinstripes as a going-away present before the end of Reagan's two terms as governor. Number 5. Donald Trump One of the most powerful people in the world, immediate former U.S. President Donald Trump is known for making headlines, even on matters besides political ones. He's been in the entertainment sector, he's been an advocate of raising walls between countries, and climate change is not important to him. However, we're here to talk about Trump and his cars. Although, when it comes to cars and Trump, the first thing that pops in mind is him and Ford's production plans in Mexico. He's had several cars in his career, and there's also a motorcycle. Among his impeccable collection, you will spot a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. First launched in 2003, back when Mercedes and McLaren Automotive were close partners, a collaboration that created this striking two-door Grand Tour, which made 617 bhp a standard from a supercharged V8. Another pricey whip owned by the controversial billionaire is Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud. This Rolls-Royce is believed to be one of the first cars owned by Trump and remains to this day a personal favorite for him. More recently, he's been seen driving about in an up-to-date Phantom. A Silver Cloud's value in today's classic car market stands anywhere between $150,000 to $200,000, depending on its condition and history. His monstrous collection continues with a beautiful blue Lamborghini Diablo. I drive a 1997 Lamborghini Diablo. There was a time Trump could say this to people at a party. The Lambo has been passed around to several owners since Trump parted with it, but to help ramp up its value, the car has received some special Trump-related treatment from subsequent owners, such as a unique exterior badge with his name on it. Trump also drives a Tesla Roadster. It may come as a surprise to many that Trump owned an all-electric, climate-friendly green Tesla, but he did own one. It will be even more surprising to watch the 6'2 Trump fit inside the sleek, low-slung Roadster. Cadillac Elante is another car in Trump's garage. Cadillacs are popular among the rich in America, and Trump has been one of them for decades. He owned more than one model from the brand over the years. The Elante was a convertible V8 that had style before driving dynamics. According to Trump, the Elante was given to him by Cadillac as a gift, and it was painted in Donald's favorite color, gold. Another interesting ride owned by the former POTUS is a 24-karat gold chopper motorbike. Orange County Chopper's motorcycle had parts made out of genuine gold, so very Donald Trump. It was built by Paul Tuttle Sr., who was one of the co-founders of the company. Did you enjoy our video? In your opinion, who among the above best world America, and why do you think so? Well, if you enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.